Trump and as they're doing the next debate, if a debate happens, that'd be cool. I don't think it's going to happen. You don't think it's going to happen? No. How can you not have a debate? Biden's not going to do it. I don't think he can. I don't think he can stand there for that long and, and last. I don't even know what his ideas are. Yeah. But, but that's the point of the debate, yeah. right? Is is for me to learn about somebody's platform. Well, you know, at this point, he's doing well by not talking. That's not when doing he talks, well. It hurts him. No, I t I don't I don't ima I would never allow him. If I was in the DNC, I'd be like, "There's no way you're debating. Trump's going to destroy him." But that doesn't matter because the ideas are the thing that we're voting on. But it doesn't matter because people want to see who can hang in a debate. And they don't want to vote for a loser. So if the guy gets up there and falls apart in the debate and starts stumbling his words yeah. and starts flubbing and forgetting what he was talking about, like Biden's done on multiple occasions, a lot of people are not going to vote Man, for I him. I swear I thought they have a scheduled debate in a couple of weeks. It's not going to happen. Don't I, tell I me bet that. You, I bet you 100 bucks doesn't that, that, happen. That's usually where I learn about somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not trying to learn. Like, they're trying to win. I don't know about especially like i love it when local politicians do debates because those are like no hold barred truth attacks you know like mm -hmm. well i know you took money from this auto park place you know and like this yeah. guy's like well i know you're getting money from you know beto o'rourke and you're like this is awesome <laughs> you know like i'm learning so much right now that there's no way i would have learned and they do and uh so i mean we kind of have an idea about trump's policies yeah. but how do we learn about Biden's policies? Yeah, I don't know. I think they just, I think Biden at this point just wants to win. I think the best way they think to win is to keep him from talking too much. If I really had a guess. Like the He's, only, uh, Kamala Harris is on doing a lot of inter different interviews and talking. What are you laughing at? There's, I'm trying to look up to see what the new information about debates is. And this is the story I found. Trump spurns traditional debate prep with first face off less than three days, three weeks away. So what is he saying? We're supposed to, there's supposed to be one in about three weeks, but right. he, we he's not held a uh, single mock debate and he said he doesn't need to. Just... President Trump has not held a single mock debate session. There's no plans to stage a formal practice round as he readies for his first face-off with Joe Biden in less than three weeks, according to multiple people familiar with the discussions. The president has dismissed the typical debate preparations he participated in four years ago, joking to <sighs> aides and allies that he's been pre preparing for debate since he was born. This, uh, this is what happens to fighters when they get their ass kicked. His ability to fight back an opponent in real time, he's argued, isn't something you have to practice. That's, yeah, maybe. Instead, Trump has so far chosen to prepare through informal discussions with key allies and with briefings from top officials in his administration on various topics that will likely come up, like, or that are likely to come up, these people said. Can, can you? Would you do a debate? Would I? Yeah, if, if like... Another problem I have with if I had to do a debate, no, no, not not you debating somebody. Um, oh, I'd prepare like a mother. I know you would. You'd be fun to watch, but um, you be the control mechanism to the candidates, like a Biden Trump debate with Joe Rogan hosting. Mm. Your questions. I would want that. First of all, I'd want no one else in the room. I, I ju just, just the, the three people. Of us cameras so we we can record the truth like. yeah just the three of us and you would have to stream it live so no one can edit it nope. and i would want them in there for hours and ideas we get to hear yeah. what they actually believe in yeah. what they're going to do who they're going to appoint yeah what judges are going to be coming in what policies from gun control to yes all of it yes can't, can't, why, why can't we right. have that we should have that this is 2020 I mean, we have the ability to have that. This is, this, we're not talking about 1979. <laughs> we're talking about 2020. If they wanted to do that, they both wanted to come here in Austin, sit down, and have a debate, I would 100% do it. My God. I would 100% do it. It'd be amazing. It would be the best way to find out, but I don't think that Biden can handle it. I, I think Biden is, like, I think he's, I mean, people get mad at me for saying this. I think there's something wrong, and I don't think there's something wrong because I'm guessing or because I'm pro-Trump. I've seen him fall apart. I think yeah. I've seen him start talking. Not, he's had multiple brain surgeries. Yeah. This, this, this is him saying, I sent you that thing yesterday, right? Play, look at this. This is something, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased in any way, yeah. shape, or form. I'm a Bernie Sanders supporter. Yeah. I, right? I just I'm, want a I'm commander a Tulsi in chief that will supporter. let me be, like, yeah. do a commander in chief. I like Tulsi. Yeah, I love Give Tulsi. Give me a Tulsi Jocko. 100%. That, that'd be a fun. Jocko, run for president. 